What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Elite Kicks. Back at you again. New shoe review, new pickup. Um, as y'all recently saw, I just dropped a video on the Air Max 95 Chlorine Blues and the True Blue 2011 True um, Jordan 3 True Blues. Um, both shoes are great shoes. Um, a lot of people looked at the review, said they want to get the shoes now. Um, the True Blues is a general release shoe, so everybody should be able to get their hands on a pair. I know one guy asked me, he was wanting to know, is it going to be a quick strike or a limited release? Um, it's a general release, so everybody should be able to get their hands on a pair. Um, I don't know how fast it'll sell out, so if you're planning on getting a shoe, at least be there on the release day. Um, before I get my new pickup, I got a couple shout-outs I want to do. Like I told people before, if you want me to shout you out, you know, send me a message. And, you know, just title it, shout-out. I get so many emails that... That it's hard for me to keep up with it, but if you just you know send me a message, I don't mind doing it because uh, people done it for me. Um, I don't mind helping people out. I don't mind giving back. Uh, so shout out to JV ninety GT and EP the Truth. I will post their names up here so you can see it, and also I'll post at the end of the video. Like I said, man, y'all go show them love, man. Um, you know, rate, subscribe, comment. Also shout out to my boy Creative Sensations. As y'all know, he won a sneaker contest giveaway. So shout out to him. He's a real cool dude also. I talked to him here and there. Um, and of course, shout out to my boy Freydog 313. But um, enough of that. I'm going to go ahead and get into this new shoe pickup. Uh, the shoe dropped last year. Um, I wanted the shoe. I missed out on the shoe. Couldn't get it. Everybody knows it's a limited release. There's only a set number amount of shoes that drop. So it was hard to get. For the price I paid, I paid for this shoe back in February. For the price I paid... You know, it, it took a while to get the shoe. It took a while to track it down, but I finally got the shoe. Um, I had to go a half size bigger, which is cool because I'm never going to wear the shoe. Um, I just want to have it in my collection because eventually one day I will be able to sell the whole collection together. And plus, I like the shoe. I actually like it. Um, when I first saw it, I was like, uh, you know, you get that feeling. But when you see the shoe and you actually get to see other videos about it, you, it kind of grows on you, and it's not like a hype beast thing. It's just like some shoes you have to see in person. Um, I don't get to see all the exclusive shoes. I don't have a house of hoops or nothing like that. So, you know, I, I got to go by the pictures. And my boy, Fred All 3, you know, he's like, man, the shoes is hot. So, basically, I've been tracking the shoe down for a minute and finally got it. So, I'm just going to get into the review. And this is the Air Jordan 7 Retro Primo, size 10 and a half. Like I said, I had to go a size half bigger. And uh, for the price I paid, the box is in excellent condition. Um, these bin boxes, because I got the bin nines, they're very fragile, you know what I'm saying? So this box is actually in good condition, and it has everything, the bags, everything. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the review. Um, I will not be putting these on foot. I will not review these on feet, because, like I said, I'm, I'm not going to do nothing to undes the shoe. So I'm going to go ahead and pull them out the bags. And once again, thanks to my boy Fredo 313. He helped me out tracking these shoes down. It took us a while to get them, but we finally got them. All right, here's both of the bags. I know some people, you know, there's a couple people out there swear you only show one bag. So here's both of the bags. And it's got the Ben 23 on there. All right. So here you go. It's also got the shoe horns in here. Here's the shoe horn to the left shoe. And. The shoe horn to the right shoe. There's both of them. So I'll go ahead and take it out. Alright, so I'm going to just go ahead and review one of the shoes. Um, like I said, there's a million videos out, but I'm just showing you mine. Because I was so happy to get my hands on a pair. My 7 collection is growing now. Um, there's like a few more 7's I want to get in there. It should be complete. But uh, here you go. I'm going to start at the bottom of the shoe. Uh, the colors on this shoe is real nice and unique. Um, a lot of people, you know, didn't really like this shoe. A lot of people, it's, you know, it just wasn't their whole style or whatever. But I think it's actually a unique shoe. It's it's like a masterpiece because it's got all the art on it. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like a painting, you know, it's rare. But alright, on the bottom you got your um, red, like your varsity red, your black, and then your green right there. And then like your maize yellow. All right, and then on the side you come to the midsole. Your midsole is black down here, but then you come up and you have like your green. You got your red, your green, and then your yellow again, and it's right here also. And um, like I said, the colorway is very nice to me. I like it a lot. 
And then you come up, it's got that real nice leather, almost like the leather, um, I want to say on the Motorsport 6s, I can't remember, but it's real soft, it is real soft leather. It's not like, uh, I know the for some reason the Orion Blues that dropped, the that quality of material in that shoe, is, it's, to me it just seemed like it sucked. Um, but this leather is real soft. Alright, and then on the back you got your bend stamp. Your Ben 23 stamp. And then you have like your design. I don't know what design is this. Um, I don't know what it stands for, but I know you have like your, your African tribal design. And then you come up here to the side, and it's like a, a new buck, and it's got like sparkles in it. And then you have your yellow jump in. And the new buck is so soft, like it's really, really soft. I almost I thought it was 3M when I first saw it until I felt the shoe. And then on the on um, reverse side of that, it's red and it has like the um, it's lined with like the bin, some like the bin stamping or whatever. I don't know if y'all can catch that, but the shoe is is really really nice. And then um the tongue is all red. It's not like the regular uh, sevens, you know, different patterns. It's all red. Your Jordan's in black and your Air is in yellow. And then. In, the insole of the shoe is black with a yellow jump in, and the sock liner is red with that same material. Let's see if I can give you a better look. Same material. Also, you can see the what number this shoe is. This is number eighteen thirty one out of twenty fifty nine. So it's one of the later few pairs made, which is cool. There y'all go. Um, overall, this shoe, hands down, is a, a real nice shoe. Um, I'm glad to actually get it. Like I said, I've been wanting this shoe ever since it's dry. I wasn't able to get my hands on a pair just because it's so limited and so exclusive. Um, also, your pull tab on the back is all leather. Most of the pull tabs on the 7s is like a um, almost like a webbing material, but this one is all leather. So... They actually went out on the shoe. I mean, it's a bin. It's a um, limited. It's an exclusive shoe. And then on the uh, what I failed to mention on the tip of the laces, you have like your metallic or chrome, chrome tips, and it's got your Jumpman on there. Um, so it's a great shoe. And like I said, I'm not gonna preview this on foot because, like I said, I don't want to do nothing to undes the shoe. Um, as it me wearing the shoe, I don't know about that yet because I don't want to crease the toe on it. Um, other than that, I'm glad to have it. You know what I'm saying? Once I get my uh, sneaker, you know, once I get my, um, the way I get my sneaker set up in my spare bedroom, I'm going to have it like where it's going to be on the wall. All the, all my shoes are going to be like mounted, not mounted on the wall, but I have shelves around the whole spare room for my shoes. Alright, so I just wanted to show you my pair. Like I said, it was a while to get this shoe. Um... With some help with my boy, we finally got it. I'm still trying to get the the Ben Fives. We're working on those. I was supposed to been have those. Um, with some complications with that, but we're getting on it. Me and Frey is working on that. Also, the Ben Thirteens. We're still trying to track those down. The Ben Thirteens are super exclusive because everybody likes them, and um, a lot of people bought that shoe and they're not letting it go. But like I said, for the price I paid for them, because I already paid for those. Also, the um, you know, I'm, I'm willing to wait however long it takes to get them. So I'm not even going to complain about that. You know what I'm saying? So here you go. Once again, rate, subscribe, comment. I will be having another video coming real soon. Hopefully another two or three this week. Hopefully. Um, I got a shoe right now in transit to my house. So it should be here. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Alright, so rate, subscribe, comment. Also, like I said, um, go check those people's pages out. Like I said, I posted at the end of the video um, their names so y'all can go hit them up. Anybody want me to shout out to them, you know, just inbox me. I'll do it. Um, other than that, stay tuned, stay up. We got plenty more videos on the way. Alright, peace.
Hey, my man, dog, I'm on the block, too, you stuck. On the block, too, you stuck. On the block, too, you stuck. If you're looking for me, bitch, I'm on the block, too, you stuck. On the block, too, you stuck. On the block, too, you stuck. If you're looking for me, ho, I'm in the club, too, you stuck. In the club, too, you stuck. In the club, too, you stuck. If you're looking for me, nigga, I'm in the mile, too, you stuck. In the mile, too, you stuck. In the mile, too, you stuck. I'm in the club, too, you stuck. I'm on the block, two door four, I give a fuck Bet your bitch, I send my goons, kick your door I'm real street, real life, and we can sip that dirty Sprite We can shoot out with the A-Cup, we can stab with the nice I give a fuck, 